my lesbian experience with loneliness it sounds like a manga about a woman who's exploring her sexuality and it is it is also so much more though we're going to take a look at why this manga of only 6 chapters make you think and relate like no other manga does of course spoilers ahead it's only 6 chapters and a trigger warning for people who get affected by mental issues such as depression or binge eating because this one might hit home a little too much god is this okay okay god is just fine but doesn't really play a role in this manga my lesbian experience with loneliness is a manga written and illustrated by kabi nagata it is an autobiographical manga and it is a true recollection of the author's insecurities in life there are a lot of things we can talk about in this if we take a deep dive but in this video we're going to talk about jobs and society kabi nagata was a woman who felt like she didn't fit in with society she felt useless and she felt like she had no purpose in life now this is japan so there's a lot of judgment made on a person who isn't an active member of society this is true in a lot of asian countries too like india so we can relate to this basic point right away she doesn't feel like she belongs in any of the jobs that she works in and she faces a lot of problems in everyday situations for example she is awkward and introverted in many situations uh, that might make her seem unfriendly or aloof it's not like she just wants to be a recluse she just can't make it happen she faces anxiety in places that others can handle things just fine add in problems with health and you have the stereotypical bad employee Uh, she has to take leaves or leave early during work just because of her poor health, and she sometimes doesn't come in at all. After a point, she's fired for poor performance, and she just accepts it. The fate, while not entirely similar, my dog had cancer and was living out his last days. I took a couple of days off to help him live comfortably and be next to the people that he loved. It was the only break that I had taken in my entire employment there. and my office just wouldn't let me be i would constantly get calls about something or the other in another job during the pandemic mind you an employee informed the team that they would have to go get a mandatory covid test as their neighbors tested positive this info was met with a question of where the work for the day was and why it wasn't submitted yet it seemed like i was the only person who even thought to reply and cared enough to ask about the situation well We all know that companies don't care about you and the more they claim to do the less they actually do. I was let go from my recent job for opening up about mental health issues that had no relation to the job itself. Similarly, Kabi Nagata also has issues with binge eating. This is something I can kind of relate to but Sid and Audi, the other two people of this channel can relate very well. They both have had scenarios where they've uncontrollably eaten something just to regret it later. I only say that I kind of relate to it because I can relate to the other end of the situation. When I am mentally not okay, I shut down and I just stop eating. This is also shown in the manga and it shows the journey of starting out by starving and then switching to binge eating to stay sane. The body first craves nothing as you are just too numb to want to eat anything at all and then goes into overdrive to make up for the lost food. Live in a society. Okay. Joke aside. We live in a utilitarian society, and this manga sheds light upon that beautifully. Ah, everything that the world wants from us is utilitarian. The world wants you to have some value to them, and or you're a burden, useless, and you're good for nothing. That's not how the world works, though. Humans aside, there is no utilitarian value in other beings. Frogs croak because they're croak. Birds fly because they are birds. and everything that lives eventually dies why are humans any different why aren't humans just accepting of other humans for just being eh, human being haha ha. is this utility that people get out of you for you or is it just for them me making this video is not a utility i do it because i love anime i love manga i love stories you watching it and talking to me about it is also not a utility because i'm not expecting anything from you Even here others ask questions like how will your channel ever reach 1000 or 10000 or 1 million subs all i can say is that we exist because we exist and we should be taking more care to ensure that people can be themselves and not a measure of usefulness in a world where everything is branded and everything is being sold and evaluated being free to do what you want without a need to justify it it's the best thing ever 
It's a move that will set you free, but a move that requires a lot of thought, effort, and conviction. Maybe one day humans can be more forgiving of each other, but this is my way of starting a little bit of change in this little pocket of the internet. So yeah, the, my message is try being a little kinder to those around you. Try being more understanding of the problems they might be facing. But that's it for this episode. Uh, check out my lesbian experience with loneliness if you haven't already. And let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. How did it make you feel? What do you think of the whole thing? Leave a like if you like the video, share it with your friends, and we'll be back very soon to talk about more analysis in anime.